What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to WWE 2K19 AI Universe Mode. This is a my brand SmackDown Week 3 here in Birmingham, England. Welcome to SmackDown Live, where we are closer to our pay-per-view event. And I don't know if some of our superstars can wait that long. There are rivalries that are ready to explode tonight. The collision course toward the pay-per-view event continues, but tonight, someone's going to hit a massive roadblock. Now I'm a lone commentator tonight, Mr. Maverick. Not around at the moment, but the show one -on -one must go on. Coming your way next. Kicking we off have a real fan with favorite. the knockout artist, Cassius Ono, going one on one with the phenomenal AJ Styles. Normally, Cassius, actually, Cassius is normally the underdog, but now more than ever, up against the phenomenal AJ Styles. Here we go. The knockout artist, Cassius Ono's here. The following contest is a knockout match. The first superstar to knock out their opponent will win the match. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 260 pounds, Cassius Ono. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker. And his no. opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. And here we go. I'm actually a little bit excited about this one. I am a huge AJ Styles fan. Uh, pretty decent fan of Mr. Ono here. This should be a hard hitting match. Oh no, that one is sidekick to the phenomenal one going for a big boot there. Bison hit this. Oh, and there it is. Cassius Ono hitting a flush bison kick to the face of the phenomenal one. Cassius Ono needs to keep up this mean streak, and he does there perfectly. with a, what would you call that, tossing suplex, I suppose, and AJ with a huge leaping close oh, yeah. Here's AJ Styles. Oh, back and forth between these two. One. Uh, one thing about Cassius Ono in 2K18 at least, even That's though his overall is not that opponent. great, he was so, so hard to beat. For the um, here. I don't know if that's the case in 2K19, but it uh, looks like we're about to find now. Now Cassius with a big boy senton to the ribs of AJ Styles. Yep, managed to get a point count there this early on in the match. Very surprising when you see Cassius trying to stay on Styles. Oh, what a big boot there. They call him the knockout artist for a reason. Those big boots and forearm strikes are nothing to mess with. This is a level and AJ there with a stun gun. Is this is not the place where you want to underestimate your competition. Absolutely Cash is Ono rolled over onto his stomach. AJ now going to work over the arm of Ono. Oh, AJ Styles has that great pull. That's phenomenal. He's starting to stagger oh, a bit. Oh, no, off the He's mat here. Sure and that's a rock. The the they really need a new animation for the gas crusher. Let me tell you, that can cause some serious oh, injury. wait. AJ, oh. AJ was probably sizing up for that phenomenal forearm. Now we're going to stretch the hamstring of Ono. Take away those big boots. Oh, Cash is really close to the ropes, but the phenomenal one. Oh, no, he missed. Cash was too close. 
rookie mistake there by AJ Styles. You don't see those too often. And now AJ sliding under into a hurricane. Oh, feeling it here in England. For the pen, no. I, I don't know why he decided to taunt and then go for the pen. Gave Cassius a good second to recover. But Cash is now straight jacket, lifting Styles up in a powerbomb position. Styles with a shot to the head, and oh no, goes crashing to the floor. Oh God. AJ Styles on the top row. Cash is on the outside. Oh, AJ overshot again. What is going on with AJ, but still managing to hit a beautiful German suplex on the floor. Cassius Ono back into the ring. Styles back up to the top again. Oh, AJ now once again rolling into the calf crusher, and there is no more break here. Oh no, in trouble. AJ pulling back on that leg. What is oh, AJ releasing Cassius. And Ono hasn't gotten any offense in in quite a second. Oh, just as I say that, forearm to the back of the head. Is it over? One, two, no. AJ Styles getting that shoulder up there. Cassius looking like he's getting a bit frustrated. Picking up Styles off like the mat. Oh, Cassius, double clothesline there. Off the ropes and a jumping clothesline. Does everyone in this game have Roman Reigns come back? Because I swear they do. AJ Styles able to avoid damage there. Such a technician. Now stop. Wait. Styles picking up the big man. Styles clash. Cash is busted open. But that was a rope break there. AJ with mistake after mistake tonight. Oh, he's setting up for it one more time. And AJ. No, Cassius with a back body drop. If AJ would have hit that, Cassius Ono would have been done. I guarantee it. Now Ono locking in a straight jacket submission here. Look at how much he is wrenching back on the no head back of AJ Styles. AJ though, still feeling it here. AJ Styles oh, look at the quickness. Nice Good God. Now AJ, forearm strike, forearm strike into the Pele kick. Picking up Ono. No. Ono catching that leg there. Now, oh my God, Ono, cradle power driver. Ono just does not care. He's going to do everything he can. Looking. For the signature tornado big boot. Oh, and he hit it flush on AJ Styles. One, two, no. Cash is so close. AJ still kicking out. But oh no, the knockout artist looking to end it right here. But no, AJ spinning him around into a headlock. Dragon screw leg whip. Now AJ, the phenomenal knee drop. What a match to kick off week three of SmackDown. Once again, stretching the hamstring of Cassius Ono. Speaking of Ono, oh he's probably saying Ono oh no right about now. For the second time in the match, Styles Clash. Cassius Ono oh knocked out your winner, the phenomenal AJ Styles. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Here Ladies is your winner, you the phenomenal the AJ Styles. AJ Styles will stand and tall in the house that he built a mere movie in the evening and 
up next we have, we have tag team action as we have the Carl Anderson yeah, against yeah, Heavy the Machinery. Good Brothers Carl Anderson and action, Luke folks. Gallows versus Heavy Machinery Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovich and um, honestly I don't know who's going to come out on top in this one the Good Brothers definitely have more experience but Look how big Heavy Machinery is. That's a lot of power, a lot of strength, just trying to run through brick walls here tonight. But will they be able to do it? We are about to find out. Byron, are you friends with Anderson and Gallows? I'd like to consider myself on good terms with them. Because they talk about you a lot. Oh, yeah? What do yeah. they say? They say, nerd! On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 505 pounds, Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows. This is gonna be fun. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 650 pounds, Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovic. Heavy Machinery. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Tag team action. Cole Anderson starting out for the Good Brothers. Tucker Knight starting out for Heavy Machinery. And this Carl Anderson, the match. only I mean, smaller man in this match with the speed advantage, the rest of, or the other three in the match, one. definitely we pure go, strength, as you can see that shown off here by Tucker Knight. And now, double-handed choke slam already throwing Anderson around the ring like a ragdoll. This is all about skill. Determination Look at Tucker Knight, power. still with that them chain wrestling skills. Working over the arm of Anderson. Now Anderson into heavy yeah, machinery. He's corner. Able to move out of the way there. Anderson looking to fight back. He just hit him with a clothesline and Knight did not get faced at all. But what a brutal backbreaker. And that one definitely put Knight down. And now in comes the power of the Good Brothers, Mr. Luke Gallows, putting all that weight down. Now Gallows setting up for something here. Oh no, Yakut Cutter. And Knight with the hot tag, in comes the Dozer, Otis Dozovich. What, oh, Gallows with the power. Good Brothers, former tag team champions. Otis Dozovich and Tucker Knight have yet to win any titles in WWE as a whole. But that might change here on SmackDown. Now Otis Dozovich with an overhead belly to belly. Tucker Knight back up on the apron. Heavy machinery now in full control of this one. Anderson into the turnbuckle. No, now it's Dozovich into the Good Brothers corner. Back and forth we go. Irish whip. Oh, big Dozer backing up. Good God, putting all that. Wait a second. Otis feeling it. The Dozer with the Caterpillar. Into a leaping elbow drop. Good God, how does, how does a man of that size pull that off? He's Look at the leg, the one. And no, just a one count there on Anderson. Out there, Cole. Anderson not even close to being done. Dozovic. But, oh, Dozovic. Oh, going for that signature slam. Anderson able to uh, go up and over there. European uppercut in the corner. Anderson setting up for the gun stun. Otis Dozovich busted open. One, two. Dozovich getting the shoulder up there, but that was a huge blow for him to take. Definitely needs to get a tag in. 
to Tucker Knight. Oh my god. Dozovic just knocking every tooth out of Anderson's mouth. Don't make this man bleed because you will piss him off. Tucker Knight back in now. Looked like he was calling for the end there. Carl Anderson says not yet. Tagging in the big Luke Gallows. And Anderson throwing Knight right to a big boot. But Tucker Knight immediately getting back up there. What heart. Picking up Luke Gallows here. Oh, huge knee strike to the face. That's even possible. Knight and Gallows, another big boot. Gallows on his A game tonight. Now uh, clawing the trap muscle of Knight here. Slamming the wall against the mat, just trying to wear out his opponent. But Knight going to try to come back here. Oh, beautiful drop kick by the big man. Dragging Gallows over to Heavy Machinery's corner. In comes a bloody Otis Dozovich. Oh, oh, the strength by Dozovich. Tossing Luke Gallows around like a child. Luke Gallows is a uh, pretty big man, so that takes a lot of power. And look at that. Backbreaker. Gallo's legs getting hung up on the ropes there. It seemed like the Usos had everything well in hand, but Rhino and Heath Slater refused to lose. Dozovich got Gallo's in his grasp. What has he got in mind here? Oh, another leaping elbow. Dozovich having fun. Even if he's bloodied, he doesn't care. Going for that slam again. And this time, hitting it flush. That is not good for one Luke Gallows. One. No. Anderson able to break up the pin, but the ref getting knocked out in the crossfire there. Which means, oh, uh, Tucker Knight staying true to the rules of the match. He could have stayed in, got some double-tone maneuvers into Luke Gallows while the ref was down. They want to win fair and square. I'm sure both teams do. Yeah, Otis putting Gallows into the turnbuckle. A huge beal throw. Shot to the head. And now Otis looked like he was going for a belly to belly there. Gallows not allowing that to happen. Whip coming back, big boot across the bloody face. Oh wait, Gallows looking for the choke slam. Dozovich had that one scouted there, and what a lariat! And once again, Otis setting up for that power slam, picking up Gallows. Straight through the mat, knocking out Luke Gallows. Your winners, heavy machinery. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. Here are your winners, Tucker Knight and Otis Dozovic. Heavy machinery. I'm telling you, this match was over for the Good Brothers as soon as Dozovic saw his own blood. He was out to get a victory. And Heavy Machinery looking to climb the ranks in the tag team division here on SmackDown. But we are moving on in the evening. As up next, we have women's single action. As we have... Woo! Charlotte Flair going one-on-one -on -one with Sanity's twisted sister, Nikki Cross. But the bad thing for Charlotte is Nikki's not coming alone. In her corner will be the leader of Sanity, Eric Young, along with Alexander Wolfe and the beast from Belfast, Killian Dane.
Things not looking good for the queen, but will she be able to come out on top against the unhinged Nikki Cross? This one should be interesting. From the Queen City, Charlotte Flair! And her opponent, accompanied by Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, and Killian Dane, representing Sanity from Glasgow, Scotland, Nick E. Crush. Sanity in its entirety out here to support their only female member and a tall task. For Nikki Cross ahead of As her here to tonight. Charlotte, one, one of the best the women superstars. wrestlers in the world right now. It doesn't matter if Nikki Cross has well, sanity. The entire sanity stable backing her up is still going to be difficult to come out with a win here tonight. And oh, Nikki there with a cross the body and just wailing on Charlotte Flair. Elbow drop. Never know what Nikki Cross is gonna do next. That is a huge disadvantage for Charlotte. No one knows what's going through her head except for her sanity brethren. Now Cross with a woo with her own chop to the chest of Charlotte Flair. Stun gun across the top rope. Charlotte not able to get any offense in so far. Cross with a splash in the turnbuckle. Oh, there we go. Insiguri by the former women's champion. Here comes Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Gonna work over that leg. Setting up for that dreaded figure eight leg lock. Picking Cross up to her feet. Ooh, that would have been bad if Cross would have got hit with that. Going for Every a four on Shin there. The key a cross the Samoan driver. That has got to be it. Oh, oh, it's over. Oh, Nikki already setting up for the Fisherman Buster. This could end it in a hurry. And Charlotte it's hit that with that it crazy. on the dot. Oh, middle of the ring. Like that can end. She goes for the cover. One, two. Yeah, and the That's Queen right, able to kick out there. Curry's absolutely right. But the Nikki Cross has so been nothing but impressive in, in this one so far. Sanity hasn't even needed to get involved. That's right. now comes the hard part, Charlotte that once again going to try to fight back. Last time she tried, though, it did not end well. Nikki Cross scoop slam. Beautiful scoop slam, might I add. And I don't know, it seems like tonight Nikki Cross has Charlotte Flair's number here in Birmingham. Message delivered. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from Dragon seeing the Charlotte finisher, which could close to the ropes here. Oh, wait, Nikki with her feet on the ropes. One. No. Still, in this one. still not enough leverage to put Charlotte down. Oh, what a swinging neck breaker there. Oh, and Charlotte styling and profiling just like her daddy. Close line. Following up with another one. Charlotte Flair. Roman Reigns comeback. <laughs> Picking up Cross off the mat. Spear! Cross not looking good. Wait, Charlotte now. Charlotte headed to the top rope. 
Going for an elbow, Nikki Cross was able to roll out of the way. And that's why they call it high risk. Charlotte Flair now Just crashing to the floor. And this is a dangerous delay. place to be with Sandy lurking at ringside. Come on. Let's go. And now Nikki choking Charlotte across the apron. Now picking up the queen off the mat. And once again, Cross. Oh, going for that Samoan driver. Charlotte with the reverse DDT. Oh, look. Alexander Wolf up on the apron here. And Cross dumping the queen onto her head. And that is where sanity is going to come in play. Oh, a chop to the chest into another spear. Is it over? Whether Sanity gets involved or not, it may be too late for Nikki Cross. Oh, Irish Whip pulling her back straight into a backbreaker there. Oh, Charlotte with a shot to the gut. Oh, was going for a clothesline there. Nikki with a Luthes press and now just slamming the back of the head of Charlotte into the mat. Going for a cover. One. Two, Charlotte rolling the shoulder out there. Cross having no idea what she needs to do to put Charlotte away. Oh, forearm shit. Nikki going for something there. Charlotte not allowing it to happen. Back and forth we go between these two. Oh my, I don't even know what just happened there. Nikki hitting a interesting first DDT. Her body was meant to bend like that. Ross picking up Flair off the mat. And now Nikki, straight jacket, neck breaker, knocking out Charlotte Flair. I honestly believe that one distraction by Alexander Wolf turned the tide in this one, allowing for Nikki Cross to pick up a win. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches. Here is your WWE winner, Nick E. Crush. Big win here to start the show. Congratulations to Nikki Cross, a huge, huge victory over Charlotte Flair here tonight. And we are moving on in the evening with singles action. And we have the very, very talented Mustafa Ali going one-on-one -on -one with the WWE Champion, the Samoan Submission Machine, Samoa Joe, and though Mustafa may have all the talent in the world in 2K18 and now going into 2K19, Samoa Joe completely unstoppable. From Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 182 pounds, Mustafa Ali. Oh, this is gonna be good. And from Huntington Beach, California, Weighing in at 282 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Samoa Joe. There we go, and though things do not look that swift for Mustafa Ali, still a huge opportunity for the Cruiserweight here tonight. If they can pick up a win Mustafa over the Ali WWE Champion. Starting off with some interesting offense. But that tonight. will not this is last long. Joe gonna start the beat a down. Mustafa back first into the mat. We don't want to let Joe get on Great a roll, that is where he is most the dangerous. Mustafa Ali with all sorts of jukes here. 
Joe. Not too happy with that a single leg drop kick to the face. Slamming Ali to the mat again. And Joe, one of the most dangerous men in all of professional wrestling. Picking up Mustafa. Ali rolling through. The ref, hurry up. One. No. Not going to catch the champ by surprise. But Samoa Joe, one of the most dangerous men in professional wrestling as a whole. Strength, strikes, speed, high flying. Joe's got it all. And a veteran on top of that. Mustafa with a leg drop across the throat. Oh my god, what a big boot to the face. Mustafa just got rocked by Joe. Now, looking to show off the power deadlift power bomb. Mustafa gonna look to fight back here with a pop-up drop kick. Not enough to put Joe down. Joe into the turnbuckle drop kick. Oh, Joe just got right back up. Oh my god. Mustafa run for your life. I think Joe has now been pissed off. Mustafa to the outside. Joe following. He wants to go Mustafa back side. in. What is Joe doing here? Oh, just slamming him chest first into the apron. Which, by the way, Michael Cole, yes, is the hardest part of the ring. Now, oh, no, you're a Nagi putting him through the mat. But Mustafa popping right back up. The heart of Ali is absolutely incredible. But still getting dumped on his head. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, smart move by Ali rolling to the outside. Joe cannot achieve victory out here. Samoa Joe just refuses to go down, even to a knee. Back in from the floor. Back in the ring now. Mustafa. Oh, going no for something there. there huh? Joe had it scouted. Back and forth we go between these two. Oh, and there was that move we saw Nikki Cross use full Nelson. Just flowing so well into a reverse DDT. What is Mustafa doing here? Calling Joe to his feet. Mustafa looking to fly. Oh, wait, wait. The rolling neck breaker. Oh, Ali, got to be looking for that 0-5-4. Ali is looking at this. He's got to do it. And 0-5-4 connecting the imploding 450. Can he score the pin? One, two. No. I thought Ali had the champ beat, but it just wasn't enough. Trying to get this. Birmingham crowd behind him. Oh, oh, what a counter there. Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose Mustafa his on like his A game. Close line. Back elbow. Ali, whoa. With a kick. Oh man, what a hit. Walked right off the apron. Oh, Joe looking for a slap there. Ali said, no, 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 champ. I'm not done yet. A Joe with a gut wrench suplex. He may very well be running on instinct right now. Ali trying to make his way to his feet. Joe just letting him do it. Shot to the head. Turning Ali around and Joe busted open by a back elbow. Ali is not messing around tonight. But Joe, German, oh my god, into the dragon suplex, into the straight jacket German, the Camaraplex connects. You simply can never count out Samoa Joe. And I do believe that is it for Ali, put up one hell of a fight kid, but it just was not enough. 
No. How? I don't know if Ali is just has guts or he's just plain stupid. Either way, God have mercy on his soul. Oh no, Joe following up right after the Camaro Plex with the Muscle Buster. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Momentum There's no way the Ali can Samoa kick out. Joe now. Absolutely no call. way. One, two. Oh, that was a close call. What? Not yet. Um, I have no idea what's going on here, but Joe getting tired of it. Locking in the Achilles tendon lock. If he can take away the legs of Ali, takes away the high no, flying. Ali's main weapon. I don't know how this man is still going. Both men been put through a lot, but Mustafa has been absolutely destroyed by Joe. And he is still fighting. And could he be looking for another 054? Yes, he is! No! Into the knees of the champ! Not good for Mustafa. Ali still able to get control, but how long will that He's last reverse DDT? And Joe tripping up Ali. Oh, Joe looking for a big chop there. Mustafa sending him into the opposite turnbuckle. Oh, looking to pick Joe up. Joe, though. Grabbing at the arm here. Elbow straight to the arm of Ali. And Joe just can't maintain control. Could this be Mustafa's night? Hold on, guys. This isn't good. Putting the champ on the top turnbuckle. Is he looking for it? Ali is indeed looking for it. The champ on the top. Avalanche Spanish fly. What a no way. One, two. I feel so bad for Mustafa. He has given it literally everything he has, but heading up to the top one more time. Oh, five, four. He's got to have the victory here. The underdog. One, two. No. No. Oh my god, both of these men cannot put each other away. What a match. Oh, Joe putting Ali face first into the turnbuckle. Joe is in position. Oh, out of nowhere. The champ with the muscle buster. Mustafa not out. This singles match is over. What a fucking match, people. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. Here is your winner, Samoa Joe! And a bloodied WWE champion standing fashion. tall on yeah, his show, SmackDown. But Mustafa Ali, round of applause. I, I don't here even tonight, know folks. what we just witnessed, but we are moving on to the main event of the evening. Don't know how it's going to top that one, but next. we have it will be Jeff Hardy the charismatic enigma. Jeff Hardy going one-on-one -on -one with KO Kevin Owens, who last week got a victory in the main event over Braun Strowman. <clears throat> Kevin Owens riding a huge wave of momentum. Can Jeff Hardy come out on top and risk it all to get a three count on KO. We're about to find out here in the main event on week three in Birmingham. Oh man, the excitement level just went through the roof in this arena. What happened? Team Extreme! The charismatic enigma about to grace the WWE Universe with his presence.
And from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. And from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. I just realized I picked the wrong Kevin Owens model. I completely apologize for that, but nonetheless, we got KO and Jeff Hardy. I was supposed to pick uh, Kevin Owens 2014, was the one I drafted. My man. And Jeff heading straight up to the top rope immediately. But it's going to bite him in the ass real quick. As we have the avalanche rolling hills. And KO being as big as he is, imagine the amount of force driven into the torso of Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy now slingshotting KO off the rope. Jeff Hardy, pretty much a legend in the wrestling business. KO, without a doubt in my mind, a future legend of the business. Both men incredibly talented, veteran instinct. And oh, apparently a clothesline from hell. One. Hardy not going to go down that easy. He's been through a lot worse than that. Now KO throwing Jeff to the outside. Jeff now trying to fight back with a jawbreaker. KO, both men quickly heading back into the ring. And Jeff now rushing leg sweep. Turning KO over onto his stomach and hyper extending that elbow. Both these men looking to quit, get quick victories. But they should both know that neither man is going to go down for a three count this early on. Way too much in the tank. KO stretching the hamstring. If he can take away the legs of Hardy, he can take away the Swanton Bomb. Party's ultimate weapon. Jeff with a forearm strike to the side of the head. Elbow putting the damage in the KO. KO with another vicious lariat to Hardy. And the big Kevin Owens heading up to the top here. Frog splash. Beautiful. Actually, bullfrog splash, that is. Oh, the ref better watch out here. KO getting ready. Oh, I thought he might have been going for that cannonball, but he did not. Sending Hardy into the turnbuckle yet again. Now Owens alley ooped to Hardy. Jeff able to catch the kick. Putting Owens on the mat. Yeah, oh, Hardy Irish whip to KO. Coming back in a flipping clothesline. You never know what Hardy's thinking either. Like this twist of fate out of nowhere. One, two. And Owens not ready to go down. But he might be ready after this one. Jeff Hardy on the top. Swan Ton Bomb. One, two. And Kevin Owens still getting the shoulder up here. Love him or hate him, KO has all the fight in the world inside of him. And Hardy with that signature double. Leg, Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments leg away from double seeing leg, the leg finisher, which could obviously put this match on ice. And Jeff with the strength, oh, sit out, court buster. Pain here. And Hardy just staying on Owens, which is probably the smart thing to do. Do not give him an opening. Snapmare over the top of row, kick to the back. Hardy with just combination after combination, wearing out the bigger man, hooking the leg. One, two, Owens kicking out at two. The 
this Birmingham crowd psyched for this one. Now Hardy leg drop to the arm of Kevin Owens. Jeff Hardy's on the attack. Now with a grounded headlock here to KO. We don't see uh, Matt wrestling too much from Hardy, but proving that he still has a little bit of skills in the subject. Wrenching on the head. Now KO against the ropes across the ring, coming back. Hardy going for another flipping clothesline. Oh, oh my God, no. KO, package pile driver. But can he follow up here? This is exactly what Kevin Owens Oh was my God, for. Hardy is dead. One, two. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down I'm going to have like all of my uh, talent die if they keep kicking out. That's how you move up the ladder here at WWE. And you know KO is not happy to have pulled out the, the vicious, dangerous package pile driver. Gets out of the way of that one. Not enough to put Hardy away. Now, Jeff with an alley oop face buster. What strength. Jeff feeling it here. Jeff Hardy's going for it. Oh. KO too quick though with that forearm shift clothesline in the corner. Oh jeez. Jeff Hardy went down. KO just slamming Hardy's head into the mat. Oh going for a belly to belly there. Hardy had that one scouted. KO across the ring again, and once again able to get out of the way of that flying clothesline. Hardy with a crucifix pin. One, two. KO able to roll the shoulder out. Hardy exhausted at this point, but he's still got a little more left in the tank with that signature sit-out jawbreaker. Now tweaking the neck here. That's how you wear down your Kevin opponent. Owens. You have to think that's it. He's a guy that can turn it on. Owens so coming back with a clothesline. Picking up Jeff to his feet. No. Back and forth we go. Going for a scoop slam. Hardy shoving KO off. Clothesline. Owens crashing to the floor. Oh, Hardy was going for a drop kick there. Instead, it gets a boot to the gut from KO. Now, these men in dangerous territory, both back into the ring. Oh my God, no. No, oh, thank God. It was the package slam this time. Turning Hardy over onto his stomach, attacking the knees. One, two, Hardy kicking out. Okay, this, this one, this one's been pretty good as well. I don't, I don't know what's going to be my match of the night at this point. Now Hardy going for a headbutt instead, headbutting Kevin Owens' uh, elbow, and Owens now, oh, with the uh, neck breaker across the knee, and once again. K.O. Kevin Owens with the victory in your main event of SmackDown. A second little look at some of the action for that match. Wow. This entire match was just one big highlight. Here is your Not winner, Kevin Owens. Hell of a match there. Kevin Owens <clears throat> showing he is a force to be reckoned with here on SmackDown. Match of the night. I have to give to Samoa Joe and Mustafa Ali. That was absolutely crazy. But uh, every superstar here tonight putting on one hell of a show, fighting their heart out, and showing why they are considered some of the best in the world. But remember, guys, if you enjoy my content, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Brandon Brandy Bear for both. That would be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you guys for joining us for SmackDown Week 3 here in Birmingham, England. And we will see you next time on Raw is War Week 4. Good night. Kevin fucking Owens, people.